Well, today we are going to learn another question of Madhulani and Dilan model. We are going to solve only the question, but we are going to test Madhulani and Dilan model that there is no relationship between payment of dividend and market price per share. That we are going to prove according to the given example. Let's follow the question. Dividend limited has a cost of capital of 10%. That means K or cost of capital 10% is provided. The current market value of farm is rupees 20 lakhs. Total market value of the farm is 20 lakhs, which is segregated rupees 20 per share. Then the calculation is 20 lakhs divided by 20, it should be 1 lakh share. At the end of the year, the value for new investments, earnings and dividend of the company are 6 lakh 80, 1 lakh 50 and rupee 1 per share respectively. Investment, earnings and value per share is available over here. So under the new approach, the payment of dividend does not affect the value of the farm. The payment of dividend does not affect the value of the farm. That we are going to prove by solving these questions. Whenever you are going to solve this kind of questions, we need to follow three stages. At first stage, we need to calculate the market value per share at given conditions, that is P1. At second stage, we need to calculate how many new number of shares the company needs to issue to fulfill the given conditions. Given conditions in the sense, conditions regarding new investment and new earnings. What new investment and new earnings provided in the question? Based on that, we have to calculate how many new number of shares the company required to issue, known as M. And finally, we are going to calculate market value what is suggest as V. Okay, then three stages we are going to follow over here. First we are going to calculate market value per share, then we are going to calculate how many new number of shares required to issue, and finally we can calculate value of the farm. Now, since in this question it is mentioned over the payment of dividend does not affect the value of the farm, that is why we are going to solve the question considering two specific situations. First situation is if the company declared the dividend and the second situation is if the company not declared the dividend. If the company declared dividend. If the company not declared dividend. We are going to solve the question considering these two conditions if the dividend declared, if the dividend not declared. Now one by one at first options if the company declared dividend then P1 according to that formula equals to P0 1 plus K minus T. Similarly in such case also P1 equals to P0 1 plus k minus d 1 by 1. If I plot the informations over here, P0, it is available right now. The value per share is rupees 20. You can write over here rupees 20. K that is cost of capital. It is also available over here 10%, 0.10. And d that is dividend per share. If the company declared a dividend, what is mentioned over here? It is mentioned that dividend is to be 1. I just consider it over here to be 1. Similarly, in second case, P0 remain as same rupees 20, K equals to 0 0.10, and D over here we just consider here 0 or nil. Dividend, since we won't declare the company, we consider that the company not pay any dividend, not declare any dividend, that is why D we consider as Zero. When we plot the figure over here, it is 21 plus 0 0.10 minus 1 and in such case it is 21 plus 
0 0.10 minus 0. Here we got the value of rupees 21 and in such case the value is rupees 22. We have already calculated the market value per share according to the MM model. If the company declared dividend is 21, if the company won't declare dividend it is 22. We are to follow the first option is over now we to follow the second stage. We are going to calculate how many new number of shares required to issue. Okay. Then it is considered as in step 2, it is considered as that the number of new equity share issued, which is considered as M. Now we need to plot that formula one after one. First, there is I. I stands for what? New investment. What is the amount of new investment required over here? 680000 680, Minus E. E stands for what? E stands for total earnings. What is the amount of total earnings? 150000 150000 Minus N into D. Here it is mentioned N into D. N means number of existing equity share. How to get that number of existing equity share? It is very simple. Right now, the total uh, market value of the firm is 20 lakhs rupees. And here, the value per share is rupees 20. Then N we can easily count over here. Very simple calculation it is 20 lakhs, that is the value of the firm. And number of available equity share, the value per share is rupees 20. Once you divide, you are getting 1 lakh shares. Then N is how much? 1 lakh. Right now, the number of shares available, that is 1 lakh. Into D. D stands for dividend per share. As you know, D is rupees 1. That divided by P1. P1, which is just calculated over here, rupees 20. Now once we solve that, we can get how many number of new equity share issued in case of the company declared dividend. Similarly, if the company won't declare dividend, in that case also we can count the value of M. See over here, investment remain as same, 6 like 80, minus earnings also remain as same. 150 minus number of existing equity share also remain as same that is 1 lakh okay multiplying by d dividend per share in that case d is considered as need or zero that divided by p1 in second case our p1 is 22 now once we solve the question solve the equations the first answer we got as 30,000, present as 30,000 shares. Similarly, in second case, once you solve the equation, we got 24,091, 24,091 number of shares. Depending upon the first condition, if the company declared dividend, then market value per share will be 21. In that case, to fulfill the given conditions, the company needs to issue 30,000 new equity shares. In second case, if the company won't pay any dividend, then the market value per share at present is 22. In that case, the full market equity should be 24,091 shares. Next, option 3. In given conditions, in both cases, we are going to calculate right now the value of the farm. Okay? In both cases. What is the formula? It is P. That is the market value per share, N, that is existing equity share, M, which is number of new equity share issued, which we just calculated, I, that is our investment, E stands for earnings, 1 plus K, K stands for cost of capital. Now we need to calculate the value of the firm. Say P, that is in given condition is 21 plus M, that is existing shares, that is 1 lakh shares plus M. Right now we calculate over here that is 30,000 minus investment. Investment is 6 lakh 80. It is 6 lakh 80 minus earnings. Earnings is 1 lakh 50. Or earnings represent 1 lakh 50. 
होल डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस के वन प्लस के स्टैंड्स पर कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो सिमिलरली इन सेकेंड केस आल्सो वी गुड कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द फॉर्म वेयर वी इक्वल्स टू पी पी इन सेकेंड केस वी कंसीडर एस ट्वेंटी टू Within bracket number of existing equity share we may not say one lakh number of new equity share issued just now it is two four zero nine one minus investment I six lakh eighty thousand six lakh eighty thousand minus earnings that is one lakh fifty thousand one lakh fifty thousand all divided by one plus K K we may not say. Zero point one zero. Once you solve the value of the farm, it will come be two zero seven two seven two seven. That is will be twenty lakhs seventy two thousand seven hundred twenty seven in that case. In the same, in the second option, if the company not declared dividend, the value of the farm will be as two zero seven two seven two seven approx. In either case, you got the approx figure options. We try to apply the concept of even model. At first options, we consider that the company declared dividend, whereas in second options, we consider the company not declared dividend. Based on that, we follow three steps. First step, we calculate the market value price per share. Second, we follow the number of new equity share issued based on that conditions, and third, we follow the market value of the firm. In the given conditions, we calculate these three stages. In first options, where we consider that the company declared dividend, the market value of the we got twenty one, whereas the market value of the we consider the company not declared dividend we got twenty two. At second options, if the company declared dividend, the company required to issue thirty thousand new equity shares to fulfill the given conditions. But in second or in second case, where the company not declared dividend. The company required to issue only twenty four thousand and ninety one shares to fulfill the given conditions. That is due to the impact of the the value of the equity shares. Here you follow it is twenty one. Here you got twenty two. Now finally, the given condition you try to calculate the value of the firm in either conditions, but ultimately we found the similar value available in either options. Now with this particular example, we can prove that. Market value of the farm doesn't depend payment of dividend. Thank you.